tú. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Greetings, team. Let's do this. until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. It's a deer. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. This game is so pretty. Me too, Shinra, me too.
crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. <clears throat> Why is there a tennis ball hanging from the ceiling? For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Molly is a cat. Mm. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. I feel that though. There's so many books in this house. Look at all the books. Who needs this many cooking books? Okay. There must be something else to look at. Even more books. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Why did they leave? Why do they have this many books? A good table. It's always relevant to the room you're into. It's really weird. Oh. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Okay. Let's go this way. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Okay. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. After it sank? What does that mean? The weird... Witch's kitchen. Are they witches? Labyrinths. Mm. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Uh, how do you make it? Okay, it's this one. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Right, we just came from there. Let's make sure there's nothing right here. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Okay, so there's 
Another brother. There's two brothers. There's Lewis and Milton. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. They have their own library. Is that the front door? After Milton disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Did the house he retaliated and drilled peepholes? Okay. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. What? <laughs> What is going on in this game? Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Thought Molly was the cat. Okay. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Can't go up there yet then. Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. 1944-1960. So she died in 1960? Edie's father Odin built the original house. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. I feel like there's so much going on that I'm going to miss things. Nineteen thirty-seven to nineteen forty-three. No, we don't need to look in there again. I've already looked. It's Molly's room. What do the other ones say? And did I miss any pictures I can look at? I missed a door. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Ben Hofstad Finch, 1915 to 1964, Edie, 1917 to 2010. Wow. She old. 1950 to 1961. If I get too close to the door, she automatically looks into it. Gregory, 1976 to 1977. That wasn't a long time. Okay. Let's go see if uh, there's anything else. There's a room that's open that we can go in. But have we missed anything?
I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. There's no people here. There's sharks on the wall. I want, um, I want my bedroom to have a wall like this. That would be so cool. There's like stuff on the floor. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Crawl through the woods. <laughs> From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. So, Milton? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Disappeared into the house? It just ate him? That's what I've gathered. She said the house swallowed him up but or I something. I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Right, Molly the cat, not cat. Now we're in Molly's room. Molly gets her own room for a cat. That's kind of weird. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. What a neat room. Can't open the door. It says Molly. Molly's durable had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier durable cage. There's no durable. That would give me the creeps. I love owls and it would still give me the creeps. Her bed's really pretty. Is this trunk open? No. There's a scorpion in a jar. And like somebody was dissecting a starfish with this Molly. Pacific Ocean depth chart. There's no fish. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Molly, 1937 to 1947. Okay, so that's Molly. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. My Halloween candy was all gone. We played through this part last night. It's about as far as we got after this scene. And uh, we totally thought he was, she was gonna eat the gerbil and it was horrifying. I ate a lot of 
things that night. I kept eating and eating. You gotta be desperate to eat toothpaste. Then I heard chirping outside my window. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Molly the cat. Right. Won't eat the goldfish. We'll totally eat poisonous berries from the mistletoe. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Eh. Jumping's hard. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Being a cat is hard. I gobbled her up. <laughs> and suddenly, I was an owl. You know, I don't know. All I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Molly is a seems to be a person and not a cat, so I'm very confused. But also Molly just turned into a cat and now Molly's an owl. I hear them. Rabbits. Where are they? Are they back here? Oh! Flying as an owl is so hard. Let's go this way. I see one. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Mm. Then I flew off to find something bigger. This is so pretty and neat and horrifying. I hear something. Yeah. A mama rabbit. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking. But I couldn't stop eating. Oh, that heartbeat sound is Suddenly, awful. I was a shark. Molly's a shark now, guys. To the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. I didn't see any doors labeled Christopher, so I assume Christopher is just a fish. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Oh, we missed him. I'm bad at being a I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Grabbed on tight. When I was 
so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Hit the letters with your tentacles. I like that I can hit the letters. It's really neat. Like they're in a slightly interactive part of the environment. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Let's follow the mama bird. Something in my way. I was big and I moved real quiet. smell went into an old pipe. Whee! Where's Scary Monster? What even is this game though, really? What is happening right now? We are like a little girl who died in like 1940 something. I got closer and closer. We're in Molly's bedroom. Our own bedroom. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. It's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay, so I just heard a cat. So um, that's as far as I've played. So everything past this point is a complete mystery. Let me make sure I can't go in. Dude, there's definitely a cat. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Just because she's a shape-shifting cat child. Okay, where's this cat? Also known as probably Molly. 
What now we're gonna climb out here? We're not a cat. This isn't safe. This will be obvious later. <clears throat> my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Okay. So Molly... ...is just a cat? <laughs> Let's open this door, or window. <clears throat> I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Okay. So the mom named the cat Molly. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> I think I like this, Grandma. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go for a few weeks. She was a celebrity. Nineteen thirty-seven. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. I definitely like this woman. All right, what's over here? Her room was like a museum. That's a book. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. We don't want to touch the book yet because of what happened when we touched Molly's book. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. It's so pink. Oh no, there's another book. I don't want to touch that, I guess. Okay, we'll come back. Lewis died a week before we left, but... Edie had already started to memorialize him. What happened to him? It's not a... For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. This is how the house sank. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Okay, so Molly is Edie's daughter. Edie and Sven's daughter. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Close the book. Mm. The mysteries of death and thereafter.
medicine and oxygen tank. Let's go. Now we can look at the uh, deal. There's a chair in the bathtub, as one expects from old people. Mount Rainer National Park. All right, next book. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. This is so cool. I want to visit this house in real life. No. <laughs> Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Who's Sam? Uh, would this not just be like the funnest? But also probably terrifying. There's a monster in Molly's bedroom that is actually probably Molly. And there are ghosts. And also, it is really weird that her family has boarded up so much of the house. Was that stuff important? There's a deer. It's like an old swing or something. Calvin Finch. Who's Calvin? Who's Sam? Who are these people? Alright, let's go. The Finches, apparently. And they're all cursed. Milton, the brother who's been missing. We're in Calvin's room. Some red tape. Can I get over it? I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Grandpa Sam. So Calvin is Grandpa Sam's twin. And that he never talked about him. Okay. Oh. Should I be doing this right now? Is there more to look at in this room? I don't seem to have a choice. I've like committed now. I, I'm not done. I haven't explored the whole room, I feel like. I just have to make sure there's nothing else. 1968. Give up these little stairs. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Excellent. Something. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Okay. Seem to be at a swing. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. 
At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Get us ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Oh, this is not a good idea. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. This is hard. That's what I want to remember about my brother. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, this is not safe. <laughs> no, I can't. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. No, oh, dude, it kind of made me nauseous too. <laughs> also, it was really difficult. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Okay. That was kind of. I had to use both sticks to like swing his After feet. The funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. And it was really weird. All right, there's nothing. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Where was that? Okay, we came from here. We came from here. Whoa. Seems like that's it. So we can go this way, right? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Onwards. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Does it open? Oh, I can open it. Let's not go out there. Let's go this way. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I would not want all of this stuff in my room. Creepy. That's creepy. What the heck is that? about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. More books.
Okie dokie. Let's look at whatever this is. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, how do you, uh... There we go. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. <laughs> it was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. She wound the key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. I'm actually doing this, and it's really weird. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. He said she needed the right motivation. He's probably done this to trick her. Right, the but I- leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family 10 years ago tonight. Wow, okay. Um, I wound the music box though, and you couldn't take the key out at that point, so I think I have to do it now if I need the key. <laughs> Smacking stuff with this crutch. The old fridge rattled and grew still. Does anybody else feel like this dude sounds like Gollum or something? just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours 
Talks later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. There's the music box with a key in it. You know where to get that. That's my skate. Hmm, where do I go? Walter Finch, here we go. Walter. Police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Did we just kill? I guess we're going downstairs, maybe. Look at all this spooky Halloween goodness. This is such an inventive game. They were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale.
That was horrifying. Um. <clears throat> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay. Now we know where to get the key to the basement, though. No chance we could just go out the door. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. The music box is downstairs. Pool table. Okay. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Then. Right, this is where he like injured himself. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Was there anything over there? Did I miss anything? I didn't see anything that looked like I could interact with it. I want to make sure. All right, let's go. It's dark down here. I don't like it. Where's our flashlight? There's the fridge. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Or people. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I don't like this. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Okay. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. 
I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just... stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. So, uh, he thinks monsters killed his sister. They might have. And, uh, he's hiding in some kind of bunker in the basement. More books! More and more books. They're literally everywhere. I know it's out there. Somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. Something killed Molly. And Calvin. Oh, right. The curse or whatever, yeah? Big jars of peanut butter. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Right in the secret compartment of the fridge. That's where I hide from monsters. Whatever's out there, I want you to know. I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. He's tired of canned Don't peaches. Mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. <laughs> wow. Walter what died a... when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Uh, that's really weird when, uh, this dude's been hiding in your basement while you're growing up and you didn't even know it. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Who's your mom? Maybe no. she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Oh, God. Okay, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. No, go down. This is one of those really dumb controller mechanics where I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be pushing the button. Go down the ladder. For some reason, the correct answer is push the stick up to go down the ladder. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. 
I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Uncle was under the house the whole time. Trying to bury something that's still alive. It's dark, I now can't that see. There's only one of us left. Or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Did I miss things in the house? Did I go the wrong way? We believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Okay, so I thought that she was pregnant or something, and she and looks like she may be. A part of. <laughs> Okay. That's that can't be where we go. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them for what that's worth. Automatic lights. Yeah, I'm confused. There better be more going on here. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. We're not walking into the ocean. I think we're pregnant, dude. Look, my stomach's fat. I'm like a 17 year old pregnant person. Okay. So. It's really dark. Where do I go from here? I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Is that where we're going, the cemetery? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine. Two had been my fault. Pet cemetery, guys. Let's wait for the zombies to pop up. There's Christopher, the goldfish. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly Finch. Calvin Finch. Sven Finch. Edie Finch. Walter Finch. Barbara Finch, so 1960. 1964. Oh, it's 1961. 
I'm trying to see which orders they died in. So Molly died first. 1947. Then Barbara. Then Sven. No. Then Calvin and Sven. Then Walter and Edie. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. I like how they built all this stuff. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Ooh. A telescope. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Nope. I can't look anymore. Backed out. Can we go explore the old house? I know it's in the Edie's ocean. Side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. You're turning into your parents. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Who's Gus? Gregory Finch. Milton. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Who's Sanjay? Kumar. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Treehouse? Yes! <laughs> the ocean take you. We haven't unlocked the secrets of the universe yet. But looking back on it now. We can't just dive into if the ocean. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. See, we are pregnant. I knew it. Seems safe. Ooh, a ladder. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Well, good. We're back in the house. For a bit there, I started to feel like maybe we'd somehow finished the game really, really soon, and I was getting, like, concerned. <laughs> Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. It's so dark. If it's dark on my screen, it must be really dark on y'all's screen. Alright, 
Let's go look at whatever it is that Sam has. Look at this bear rug. What is it? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Oh, what? Go. Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. What are you taking a picture of? Oh. Never huh. forget this weekend, Dad. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. It's so hard to see. I'm not sure what I'm taking pictures of. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. <laughs> oh, bird! I'm gonna take a picture of the bird. Aww. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm actually supposed to be taking pictures of. Birds everywhere. Where's our, our daughter or something? Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. There's a dude well, peeing against the tree. I definitely won't be moving. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. Nothing quite like peeing outside. I'm just saying. I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? To tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. I can't do it. I can't focus on that. Bummer. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Dad! Good eyes, Don. There's a deer. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. I don't know what I'm supposed to take a picture of because it is random. Dad, I... There we go. Survive. You need to be strong. Great shot, Don. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh, it's me. I'm moving now. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's... That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about... Dad! Oh! 
Rip. There went of Sam. All these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Uh, sort of startled me too. Like a world dying in freak accidents. Okay, so there's a door I can open now. Also, it's brighter in here. Convenience. It's not that much brighter, but it's still brighter. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Gregory. Isn't Gregory the one that only lived for like a year? Greg, be a baby. <laughs> Run to mailbox and back. A climbing wall in your house? Okay. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. This duck follows my frog everywhere. Baby in the bathtub. Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. I'll knock these off the wall. What his world was like. Well, right now I'm a frog trying to knock these bubbles. It's not easy though. Okay, that's it. Yeah, back up. Reminded me so much of Calhoun. Lost in his imagination. Whatever it was, he saw.
Yeah, that is pretty weird. There's my whale. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. I'm sure he's happy. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Doing me a concern. <laughs> I like how uh, she left the baby in the bathtub because she was concerned that he would hear her fight with the father. But I'm like, he's one years old. He's not even one years old, really. Like, that was really stupid. Uh, I'm a little bit upset now. It was fun being the frog until everything went horribly wrong, like I knew it would the second I noticed we were in a bathtub. What's this? Gus. Who's Gus? A, a poem, poem for, Gus. for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Okay. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I... I now pronounce you husband and wife. Make him cry. Okay. Where are the next words? I'm just smacking people with my kite. It's not really working. Oh, there. I found them. Come on, words. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined and as a sign held up his middle finger. Wow. <laughs> The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Okay, but this seems like a bad life choice, flying a kite in this weather. Turn the 
tent now. Where's my uh, next letters? Can anybody see them? Oh, no. Those are the old letters. Boo. <gasps> I found them. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. <laughs> uh oh. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Wow. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, Sanjay's the dad, okay. Sanjay Kumar. Religion oh. was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Okay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Is that it for this? Lewis was born a year later. <sighs> when my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Dawn. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. For a while, things were good, almost normal. Dawn Finch. Is Dawn the mother? The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. No wonder this house looks crazy. She just keeps building onto it more and more. Wow. This game is so cool. Like, it's so pretty. And the atmosphere is really great. I like all the noise. 
the ambient sounds are good. Let's go this way. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Hmm. He disappeared because the house ate him. Okay. How do we get in? Aha. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Okay. hard to make it go faster or to slow down once it starts going faster. <gasps> he vanished. Let's make it go all the way to the end. Four when Milton disappeared. Just like that, he made himself a magic door and disappeared. Where do I go from here? Back down? Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Stairs. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. Okay, hold up. Okay, that didn't go anywhere.
These rooms seem uh, very dangerous. <laughs> Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Oh no! No, we don't want to leave. Come back! No, turn around. Turn around, Edith. <laughs> it does really, but it's like it's such a neat house. All right, I don't think there's anything else. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Okay. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. This is hard. I'm a, I'm behind. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Dude, throw the fish that way. His mind began to wander. I asked him to describe it. Oh no, guys. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. <laughs> this is not good. I have, to, I have to do both at once. <laughs> I have to do both at once or I can't, uh... To feel his way about. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Okay, let's go, and little man. Moved. Grab another fish. Grab another fish. Oh, that's not good. Bats. Bats. And toads. I thought this was a good idea. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> I can't even tell where we're walking. That have not names. Okay. So we're going this way. Grab, grab another fish, dude. Hang on, I gotta get rid of some fish. Can't see. Alright. <laughs> okay. Let's he knew go. It was all in his head. I gotta go this way. Gotta go right there. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Okay. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. He's gonna chop his own hand off or something in a second, I swear. Alright, I need to go upstairs, I think. In the little game, maybe. No, wait. Oh my god, this is hard. Alright, so I this way. With his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like okay. a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Where are we going? 
I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. A dog? On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. At some point, it's going to chop my hand off because I'm not paying attention to what's going on with the hand. I've sort of I've started to get more of a hang of this. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day, his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Oh, I gotta keep walking. Then one day it struck him. Ah, I lost my fish. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Oh, I can see less of the cannery thing now. You Interesting. Conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewisville. Oh shoot! I got to Okay, Saint steer Lewis. this. He started drifting away from our reality. Come Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a I want to go that way. Ugh. I guess it matters. Does it matter? Queen. I don't know what's happening. I wanted to go that way. I like the colors. Oh no. <laughs> this is too hard. <laughs> this is getting harder. All right. The queen was on her own quest for... I like rainbows. Let's go. Radiant rainbows. This is fun. Now I have to play it again so I can do it differently. Ooh, a rainbow. Guys, this is hard. <laughs> Doing both at once is super difficult. You follow Not the sound of her. What does that say? Let's go this way. We haven't gone this way yet. Electric sitter. Oh man, this is hard. Oh. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Grab your fish. Even then, his logic remained sound.
He knew the world was all in his imagination. God, this is sucks. <laughs> But he was so proud of having created it. We gotta chop it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Where's my next fishy? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him. That the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh my god. Do I not have to chop fish anymore? Because that was so difficult. We began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Calico had insisted on advising him. I have concerns about this team. Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. <laughs> oh, dude, that was the worst. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Uh, now I have to play this game again just so I can go through that part and pick the opposite choices. To see if it changes, like how it changes the little story. But it was really, that was really hard, you guys. Like, I had to use the right stick to uh, grab the fish and move them over, but I had to move in a completely different direction with the left stick, and it was Lewis just. And I spent a lot of time playing games together, but awful. he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. It was awful. That was not fun. Oh, it chopped his head off at the cannery. Ew. Wow, this is a... Just... Okay, anyway. I'm really enjoying this game, but at the same time, oh my god. 
I feel like I'm going to think about this game for days after I'm dead. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. There's so many packing peanuts. But I understand why we left. To escape the curse that's killing your whole family, or...? Okay. Okay. Stairs. There's stairs or something. Oh, and there's like a little room. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. What happened? I don't even want to know. Do I want to know? <laughs> I don't even want to know. Are we going to be in our room soon? But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. That whole last day. Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning, okay? Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. 
I got turned around. I started seeing things. A deer. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. <coughs> she got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. But what happened to the library book?
So I don't even get to know the story that's in the library book? I'm still very confused, too. <laughs> the house seemed to kill everybody. What happened to the mother? Or my person? What happened to her? Why did she die? Maybe. Well, what about the old house? I thought we would get it. I don't know, explore it for like three seconds. Rude. Right? It was a lie. Did I miss any of the people? Like, did I fill out my notebook? I can't remember. There's that creepy owl mask. Just what killed Molly? Like, what, uh, what killed Barbara? What happened to Milton? I have so many unanswered questions. There's no way the Bali girl died from hunger. Like... The replay a story option is now available. Select either to play from the beginning. It does look like we found all the people in the tree. Interesting. Oh, so I can select which story to replay. I wonder if I missed anything. Anyway, that was a uh, that was a fun game. Uh, I really, 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 really enjoyed that game, but it was horrifying. <laughs> there were parts of that game that were super, super horrifying.
but it's not going to be uh, as bad as uh, Layers of Fear, which we're going to play tonight. It about... Hmm... When do I want to play it? When do I want to start that stream? I kind of wanted to wait till it was actually nighttime. But it's a four hour game, to my knowledge. So says Google. So... Probably gonna have to start it pretty early. Let's say five, which is a... It's one o'clock now. <laughs> so let's say we'll start that at five o'clock tonight and we'll play uh, Layers of Fear for our Halloween stream. Nice. I'll be done. I'll be done with my stream probably by that point, hopefully. And then, uh, and then I'll watch you stream it. It'll be excellent. It could be that the horde of horror enthusiasts kill her in their attempt to scare her or her boyfriend who goes missing that night accidentally kills her. Or it could have been a masked gang that was threatening people in the area that night. It was on the TV that it was a masked gang. That was fun. Replay a story. Now I can just select people's stories to play. Why does it circle that one? And that one? Is it because they're connected? Alright, I'll figure that out later. Anyway, uh, thank you for coming to my stream, people. I'm... Gonna take a break for a bit, and then uh, I'm gonna start Layers of Fear in... What is that, like, four hours? In four hours, we'll play Layers of Fear for our Halloween stream. I don't know if we'll finish it, but we'll at least start it, so... That'll be fun. Uh, if you're not already following me, follow me for more content in the future. Milton's ending is ambiguous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was very short. They were like, the house ate him. <laughs> the end. This was a really fun game, you guys, and I definitely recommend it to literally everyone. That was super cool. Anyway, uh, I'm out, and I'll see you guys tonight for Layers of Fear. I want a house that eats people too, with secret passageways. We should um, build a house like that in the future. Anyway, I'm out for real. What if he really did draw himself into another world though, y'all? Look, what if all the weird stories about the little girl turning into a cat and things are all true? Hmm, we'll never know. Unless there's another game. That was a lot of fun, though. Anyway. Thanks for coming. I'm out, for real. I gotta go eat something. Hope you guys have a good afternoon. And I'll see you guys tonight.